Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna do a quick video right now. Uh, I'm just gonna be registering my ETH domain. So we're going to ens.domains. So an ETH domain is like, you know, like a regular domain name, but for on, you know, on the Ethereum network. Um, you know how like uh, we used to, you know, use IP addresses and then, you know, domains were created. And now we have, you know, account addresses, but now there's, you know, the Ethereum name service which basically um, helps with, uh, you know, more more easily making transfers to a specific person. You don't need to check, oh, is there like, uh, you know, like a typo in this long address or anything like that. I mean, even though you most of the time copy pasted or, or scanned the QR code. I just realized I have uh, 969 ETH here, nice. Um, and yeah, so what we're gonna be creating my domain is actually super easy. Um, I'm gonna launch our app here. Uh, go to Nick Sparrow search. I hope it's still available from when I searched it earlier today. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yep, it is. I, I favorited it over here. Um, and let's see, so I'll just click on that. Now, the thing is registering it is really cheap, but the gas fees make it like it's five USD and it's 239 USD together with gas fees. Um, so it's actually probably a good idea to register for, um, oh my God, maybe not a hundred years. Uh, let's try one. Let me refresh this page. Can I just do one? There you go. I was being dumb there. Uh, two years. Uh, let's try like, uh, let's register this for like five years. Um, cause only adds really 25 extra year, 20, like $5 per year, but which is actually way cheaper than any domain service, um, on, on the internet right now. Um, got my Nick and yeah, I'm going to register it. Um, so let's go to here, request to register. Should have enough funds in here. Oh, sorry, I need to connect my wallet first. So I'm gonna click connect here, MetaMask. Now we can request to register. And I'll probably renew it in five years again or, or even earlier. Uh, I think over the coming years, gas fees should go down as well. I mean, there's gonna be more people on the network, but with the changes to Ethereum, like um, gas fees should significantly decrease, I think, but I wanna make sure nobody steals my domain name. So it's like request to register. Uh, we're on the Ethereum mainnet. I was on the test net earlier. You just make sure you're on the mainnet. Um, oh, that's the max. So actually this is way bad. This is not even that bad at all. Um, so my total is about 19. Hold on, wait, how's the gas fee 1983? Oh, gas is going up as we speak. Okay, less talking, more clicking. Uh, <laughs> For that one sentence I just said, I needed to pay like an extra $8 or something. Uh, so we're gonna register this domain name and I think we should be good soon. Let's see. All right, waiting for a minute. Now we're gonna chill and wait for a bit. I'm just gonna look at stuff on my phone. Okay, there we go, the waiting's done. Uh, so now I can click register. 
Ah, there's the fee. Okay, so I guess like you pay a bit of a fee to start and another one effort. So there's, there's the actual amount. There's the heftier price, but still pretty worth it. So I think we're pretty much done for now. Um, this might take a little while to complete um, for the network transactions to go through. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably fast forward this piece of the video. I'm, I might sit here for another couple of minutes. Sometimes these things can go pretty quick, but um, uh, we'll see. And there we go. Actually, no, not even any need for fast forwarding. Um, set us primary ENS name. There we go. Also, some interesting stuff I was reading going on is like their uh, ENS is becoming a DAO, uh, like a decentralized organization. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's save this. Firm. And then we should be good. So overall, about like two, a little over two hundred dollars to set this up. Um, not, you know, not, not super cheap, but not too bad either. I mean, for smaller domain names, honestly, like it's something like. You know, for a long, not very useful domain, like normal domain name, you're paying maybe like $10, $15 every year. Um, but for some, you know, nicer domain names that I've nabbed, it's like $50 a year, $100 a year or more. Um, it's pretty crazy. Um, so let's see, this thing is it's one of your next names to represent your Ethereum account. You can only have one prime unit's name per Ethereum account and can change it at any time. Okay, awesome. So I've set this up. Let's see. Does it show up in my uh, MetaMask? Let's see. Crazy long crypto going for reserve a human, or you can splurge a bit if you're looking for an exclusive letter address. So do I need to do anything to update it? Or I guess if anyone wants to send ETH to nicksparrow.eth, <laughs> um, we can verify it that way. Uh, but okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, went through, let's see. Um, let me just move this off screen for a second, just in case there's any sensitive, um, sensitive info on there. Do, do, do. Let's see. Also, if anybody has uh, any like Chrome extension or something that can hide, you know, your sensitive info, that'd be pretty cool. If not, I'll build it. Um,
Okay, okay, so we've got something going. So this seems kind of useful. So you buy yourself in a uh, Nifty ANS address and you want to keep track of it on your wallet. Um, let's actually see what I've got in here. Uh, do, 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 uh, actually, maybe it's already under assets. No, it's still in my E. Uh, or import tokens. Actually, never mind. Interesting. Let's try that. That could be interesting. Uh, activity. How long is this article from three months ago? Okay. Open the extension and click on the three vertical dots. Click on view on ether scan. So let's uh, let's do that. Actually, I can just do it right here. View account on Etherscan. Then let's go to token drop down. Ethereum name ENS. Profile summary. We'll copy this. Open MetaMask again, scroll down to the bottom of the default view and click on the add token button. So we'll do that. Wait, um, scroll down without Paste our copy the open menu scan, scroll down to the bottom of the default view and click on the add token. Okay, import tokens, I guess. ENS and zero. Okay, so let's do that. Custom token, this. ENS zero, add custom token, import tokens. Um, all right, well, I guess it's in here now. Uh, I was kind of hoping you could maybe, or I could maybe replace this with my ENS name. That would be kind of cool, um, but we'll see. Attention your assets here, person the minutes. So it seems if you want to send it, um, uh, but I don't want to send it to anybody else. But yeah, okay, so I've I've got my um, I've got my wallet set up with uh, with my uh, nicksparrow.eth so I'm going to be adding on my Twitter and all, all those spots and going to be primarily using this now for transactions going to see next if I can use this I'll actually try and send some ETH to this address from uh, from Newton in a bit but um, yeah we'll go from there okay ho hope this was helpful uh, bye